Hello everybody and welcome to yet more perpetual testing. Today we are descending into a chamber entitled Portals on Bridges. And this was made and recommended by a whole bunch of keyboard characters, which I now understand to be read as Ivo. So a very big thank you to Ivo for making and recommending this one, and a very big apology to Ivo for completely butchering the username last time we played one of their maps. So uh, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and take a quick moment to acknowledge this wonderful tube work. All the way around the elevator that we just descended in. Very, very nice. Uh, yes, as you might have imagined from the title and the obstin- Ah, well, why bother to explain it when I can show you it? This, this, this is exactly what we're going to be working with today. Here is a perfect visual representation of what lies ahead. You can, in fact, put the white gel and portals upon light bridges. Something that I don't think actually gets used a great deal. I mean, I can't think of it being used a great deal. In fact, I can think of maybe two chambers where I've seen it. And I'm pretty sure one of those was a mistake on my part. So yeah, we're going to be playing with this today. And now I'm wondering who put those portals there, because those aren't mine. Wait, does that mean, is there like a panel somewhere I can mess with those? Can I get that cube? Like, can I upset that? Who came in here and set this up ahead of me? I mean, it's a wonderful visual representation of the puzzle ahead. Yeah, but now I want that cube. And I take it that's just going to keep doing that forever. Oh well then, uh, is there a panel in here we can grab, oh, well we're not going back that way, is there a panel in here we can grab it by, okay we'll acknowledge that in a minute, what about you? No you're too small aren't you? Uh, there is white gel so we may well have access to in there in a moment. Here we have a large light bridge with white gel being flung upon it, but not entirely upon it because there's one of those fancy goo emancipation fizzlers blocking it just there. Uh, we also have an elevator, are you automatic? You are automatic. That takes us up to this level, where we can start playing with the gels. Uh, it's connected to a button here. Is that going to turn that off? It flips it round to here. Slowly edges me off for some reason. Interesting. And that does in fact completely cover that light bridge in the gel. Does that mean then that if I put a portal here, we can go through? No, apparently those ones aren't anything to do with me whatsoever. They're tied to somebody else's portal gun. Uh, but we can now start flinging the white gel all about the place and making a mess, right? Can I have you a little bit higher so we get a bit better coverage here? I do like good full coverage with my gels. I mean, it's the white gel as well, which means wherever we get it, we can make more mess with it. And the more mess we make with it, the more opportunity for more portals and the more opportunity for more mess. And therefore, the more convenience of portaling. You know what I mean. Uh, now that it's there, we can probably fling it up in that direction towards the door and just fling it straight through the door, which doesn't help at all. Uh, we can sort of like reposition it though a bit. Get it somewhere slightly better well, there, but can I go there? That is enough to go there. So let's go through this side then. And there you go, a demonstration of the wonderful convenience of the conversion gel. If only it wasn't quite so carcinogenic. My tumors do ever so slightly tingle. Uh, through here, okay, that's, that's mesh, that's fine then. Uh, that was a slight asshole clenching moment in here. We have mesh above a lot of deadly deadly goo. We've got more of the white gel blobs being delivered in singular fashion over there, just being wasted straight into the goo, probably contributing to the deadliness by adding more carcinogens. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a conveyance beam going up to a panel there behind a bunch of glass. Big fizzler here. Purple highlighted set of stairs. That takes us up to an angled panel here. Angled panel gives us a view of our already open exit up there and a bunch of interestingly cut out panels in form of glass. Okay, we've also got a light bridge. I'm guessing a light bridge that we we'll want to cover in the white gel since, you know, that seems to be what we're doing here. A uh, panel on the floor down there with an emancipation field upon it there. So no goo may touch upon that panel. Um, well, we probably want to see about getting you covered in the gel, right? That would make sense. There's a panel there. You've also got an emancipation field uh, there's panels there, 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 you, but we can probably paint you, although you do appear to be interestingly highlighted. Why are you so interestingly highlighted? Is that just to say paint me? Or is that say to look behind me for secrets? Possibly. I mean, this map is made by Ivo, who gave us that wonderfully dangerous uh, energy redirection cube and the weird door up the back that went meow, meow, meow. So there could be anything hidden in here. Is that by any chance a panel? No, okay, never mind. Uh, let's see about getting gel upon you. To get gel upon you, we're going to need the conveyance beam. To get the conveyance beam, 
we can do the whole portal bridge jumping thing around that way. Let's do you then. Uh, let's use you to get in there through the emancipation field, which does not affect us because we are not made of the goo yet. Uh, then where's that other one that we were looking at? That's that way, so it's this way. If I put the orange there, we can walk out this way where you are perfectly lined up for doing the little asshole clench jump position thing here, like so. Uh, then we can get over to here and realize that's probably a far bigger jump than I thought it was. Is it? What's throwing me off? Oh no, that's like one square difference, right? All the, all the panel work in here is offset. Yeah, it's not perfectly squared up grids like normal. Ah, a nice little touch that you don't see used very often. Also, these little extra panels just for detailing. Very nice. Uh, that means this is probably actually a jump I can make then, isn't it? Let's, let's hope so. Almost completely blocked my own path there, which would have been somewhat entertaining, I guess. Uh, let's go through to here then, where we can go through this little door and get to you. Which means we can use you. Don't need you there for any reason. But we can use it to ride back into that kind of direction. Uh, let's jump into here then. Ride through this way. It's going to take us above the deadly deadly goo, which we do not want to touch for obvious reasons. Drop down onto here. Then we can start directing this particular blob on a journey around the room, right? If we use you now. And you're going to go to the one in the corner. Is there any point in painting that panel? Well, it's done now. It may be useful. Uh, let's move it this way then. I mean, we have got the white gel. And the white gel does open a lot of opportunities for unnecessary portals. Let's put you there. And then, ah, you can't go there, but if we do you before you hit the ceiling, that should paint that one. Which means we could now send one this way. And if we send one this way, we can then send it upward to splat upon, well, the underside of that bridge. Uh, there's no way to paint the top of the bridge as far as I can see, because it will get emancipated fizzled coming out of there. So it's got to be paint the underside, which actually would give us like a place to drop through for perpetual flinging type action out of that panel. So let's send a new blob this way around. And then off of this wayward. So that it can come along to here. And you'd think that would ever so slightly skim on the field, but it doesn't. Let's send it upward so we can send it this wayward again. And then when it gets to here, we want to send it upward. Like now. To paint there. And uh, as per the title would imply, we have painted another light bridge, so that means you can have a portal on you now, right? So that means we could do, like, an infinite loopy droppy thing here for some reason. It is of no use whatsoever just now, but, uh, although, wait, perpetual loopy flingy thing get us up there? Singular loopy flingy thing would get us up there without the perpetual loop, right? It would get us up to one height anyway. Wouldn't it? Let's try it. Uh, that would be done by replace the... Drop through the blue, replace the orange? No, drop through the blue, replace the blue. Yes, drop through the blue, replace the blue. Makes a lot more sense. So you, then there, there, you fling me pretty much to the exact same level we could have been on anyway by going through there. So we do need much more of a fling to get up the top there. Um, I can't do a perpetual loop myself here, can I? Because there's nowhere to do the portal replacement mid loop from. I'm saying loop an awful lot and it's not necessary. No, so in that case, it's probably a blob of white gel that we want to perpetually loop and launch up there. I mean, if it's doing the perpetual loop thing, it should have enough speed to get to the next floor, maybe. I guess, and I mean, uh, that's where the exit is, so it makes sense that that's where we want to go. Uh, that does mean, then, that we do need to reacquire conveyance beams and get a blob to start looping here. To do that, we need you again to drop through you again to line up with, well, I suppose either work, but technically you're a slightly shorter walk and I'm feeling lazy. So let's go this way, uh, line up with you, clench asshole in preparation for the leap and portal position. Then this one, this time we're not going to do the whole accidental button press and almost block myself, so let's just jump cleanly. Thank you. If we did that again, that would be rather embarrassing. But again, somewhat entertaining for those of you who like my misery. Uh, right, now then we do... Well, let's put orange there. Blue upon there. Right up into you, which takes us back out to the middle area again. 
Uh, then, bring the blob around again, right? So, let's go grab a blob from this side by replacing the orange. Send it this way. That panel that we painted, useless. Send it this way, so that we can send it upward, eventually, when it gets here. Thank you. And then we send it this wayward, so that we can send it... What's quicker and easier for me? Downward, maybe? Downward, and then blue there? So right, now that's going to perpetually loop there. So then that means I should just be able to fling that blob all the way up to the top, right? That's going to be awkward to time. Um, if I stand up here, standing up here will actually let me see it to time it. So it's going to be, it's coming out of orange, it's dropping into blue. So we reposition, reposition, reposition the orange as soon as it goes through, which is going to be horrible timing wise. So like, meow. Yeah, okay, that worked. That goes splatting up there. And then surely that's all I need, right? And we can just go up to the next bit of the chamber. If we get an angle... If we get an angle... Like, there, that that's pretty angular that I can have. Yep, that one will totally work. Which means we can go through you. Flop through here. Right, is that actually the end of this one? That does actually appear to be an elevator tube. Uh, right, so short, sweet and simple that I made far more complicated than it needed to be. Um, well, okay, then I guess we're not done. That scared the shit out of me. Um, okay, I guess we're not done. Uh, ow, laser burns and I've been knocked off. Crap. Um, hi, are you, are you fucked? You appear to be fucked. Um, okay. I was not expecting that. I was getting all ready to do the usual pleasant walk to the elevator outro funny thing. Um. What have you done there? You've got a laser coming out of there. Onto... Wait, have I got to fix this? Oh, cool. If i got to fix it, that's an awesomely unique outro ending elevator exit-y thing. Uh, there? And... There? No, that's completely the wrong angle. So, like, there? I said there? Roughly. A bit more over there? There, and... Oh, okay, bye. Yeah. I probably needed to be on that, right? Um, can I have it back by any chance? It does come back down, tauntingly slowly. Okay, what a uh, wonderfully unique end to a chamber with an actual puzzle to make the bloody elevator work again. I really like that. Um, Yeah, that's completely thrown me off from any funny thing that I had in mind to try and say at the end of this one. So, uh, yeah, that was Portals on Bridges. Um, Short, sweet and simple, but a pretty cool, like, proof of concept you can totally make use of. Light bridges, white gel and portals upon them, kind of proof of concept map design. So a very big thank you to Ivo for making and creating that one and recommending that. I said making and creating twice. This has so thrown me off. What I meant was a very big thank you to Ivo for making and recommending that one. If you would like to recommend a map for me to try and play, especially if you've got something wonderfully unique like this, this is very cool, then please go ahead and recommend it via the usual means. And until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, this genuinely threw me off and I have completely forgotten the funny joke that I had in mind. So uh, I've probably saved you a sort of fake laugh. Let's go ahead and move you to there. A little bit more there. Just a little tiny bit more there. No, I think I've broken it completely now, have I? I, I am now doomed. You can only have elevator access once. There, 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 there. I got it. Okay, cool. Yeah, that genuinely completely threw me off. Uh, are we going somewhere? It sounds like we've moved, but we have not moved. Let's go. Hello? I think I'm trapped here now. There we go. That only took a moment. Very nice. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.